Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a TV bumper. A TV bumper is placed between a pause in the program and the commercials and since you now know what a bumper is, let's make one. First I'm going to create a new composition, um, it's 5 seconds long and then inside of the composition I'm going to create a white background solid. Then we need a new shape layer. I'm going to rename it to box front and inside of it we need a rectangle and a fill. We're going to use a dark fill like that and I'm going to set the size to 250. Now I'm going to use my channel um, logo. I'm going to press shift to rescale it so that it fits and I'm going to parent it to box front. I'm going to make both of these layers 3D. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to rename it to box side and I'm going to hide these two layers so that we can see them for now and now I'm going to create a text layer let's type in um, TV bumper tutorial and let's align the text to the center of the composition let's maybe even rescale it like that and then let's make it a 3D layer and let's parent it to box side. Now let's make all of these layers visible again and let's switch to two views. Now let's take the box front and let's change uh, the Z value of the anchor point to 125. Um, as you can see the anchor point is now right here so if you imagine that there's four sides of the box it is centered now let's take the box side and let's set the Y rotation to minus 90 degrees um, like that and let's add um, 125 to the X position so now these two are positioned the way we want them to be and there's no need to create the rest of the box as it is not visible. So now we need to create a new null object and we're going to parent the box side to the box front. Then we're going to parent the box front to the null one. So now we can control all of these layers with this null. Um, let's make it 3D and let's go to um, 115. We're going to press S to show the scale property. We're going to create a keyframe. Then we're going to press R and we're going to create a Y rotation keyframe. Now just press U and that will show uh, both of these keyframes that we've created. Then let's go to 2 seconds. Let's set the scale value to 200 and let's set the Y rotation value to 90 degrees. Now if I play this, we have this. To make this animation look better, let's select all of these keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease them and let's go into the graph editor. Um, make sure that you are editing the speed graph and then adjust these graphs so that they look like this. This way the animation will start off slow then be really quick and then it will end slow again. Now if I play this you can see that it looks better and the final step is to go to 3 seconds. We're going to set the scale to 250 and as you can see it slowly scales up we don't want that so we're going to select these two keyframes and right click and click on toggle hold keyframe. 
Now what this does is it prevents the value from changing between these two keyframes. So we have this and then the value doesn't change until it hits this keyframe and then it goes to 250. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. For more, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.